In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the new best trust res to use in Chapter 4. This resolution is amazing, especially for people who are on low to mid end PCs that want a huge FPS boost with no delay. So, now without wasting any more time, let's get right into the video. So, I am going to show you guys how to set up this res in game and on your desktop. Then, I will test out this res in game to show you how it looks. So the first thing we're going to be doing to get our stretch res is we're going to be going into the NVIDIA control panel. Once we make our way into the NVIDIA control panel, you want to go to your display settings and go to change resolution. Under resolution, there should be a blue box that says customize. You want to click on customize and then you want to create your own custom resolution. So the res that we're going to be using in this video is 1080 by 1080. So for horizontal pixels, you want to change that to 1080 and for your vertical lines, it should already be on 1080. So if it's not, make sure it is set to 1080 and make sure your refresh rate is correct. So once you do click on test, your screen is going to go black. Now you want to make sure you apply all of the settings and as you guys can see, your res is going to change. So now under your custom resolution box, you will see 1080 by 1080. Then all you want to do is click on it and then press apply. So as you guys can see, you can definitely notice the difference between my res. Now what you want to do is go to adjust desktop size and position. And for your scaling mode, make sure it is set to full screen and perform scaling on GPU. And now under your resolution, you want to click on resolution and go to your current res. So after you're done with that, you can exit out of the control panel. So now we are going to be applying the res in Fortnite. So what you want to do is press the Windows key in R and as you guys can see, run will open up. So to make this process go by faster, you want to type in percent local app data percent slash Fortnite game, then press OK. So now you should be inside of your Fortnite game files. You want to click on saved, click on config click on a Windows client. And now before you click on your game settings, you want to make sure you right click on it and then go to properties. Now what you want to do is uncheck read only, then press OK. Then you guys can go inside of your settings. So now that we're in our game settings, you want to go to where it says edit and then go to replace. The res I am using is 1720 by 1080. So if you are using native res, which is 1920 by 1080 and not 1720 by 1080, you would find 1920 and then you would replace that with 1080. So I am going to find 1720 and then replace that with 1080 then press replace all. Because I was using 1720 by 1080, I do not have to replace 1080 because I was already using 1720 by 1080. So now you can click on file and then click on saved. Then you can exit out of your settings. So now you want to right click on your game settings and then go to properties. Now you want to check read only again. Then you want to check read only. Then press OK. So now I am going into Fortnite to show you guys the new res. So now that we're in Fortnite, you guys can see how the res looks. As you guys can probably see, we're losing a lot of FOV. Okay, so obviously after this video, I'm not going to be using this res at all. Personally, I do not like this res just because of the FOV you're losing, but it does feel very consistent when it comes to building. It really does make the game feel like zero delay.
So that is the end of the video. If you guys do enjoy this res or if you just enjoyed watching the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. The best way is to support me is to become a channel member or to use my code whiteout in the item shop. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, pressure on my body on